let's look at what is happening in India in brief. Issuing his first set of orders after having secured his position as Tamil Nadu's Chief Minister, a confident E. Palanaswamy today announced the closure of 500 more state-run liquor outlets in the state and said over 1 lakh women will get 50% subsidy to buy more bids. Government employees have been waiting to hear from the Narendra Modi's government on alliance since the cabinet cleared the recommendations of the 7th Pay Commission in June last year. The Committee on Alliance, headed by Finance Secretary Ashok Labasa, is expected to present its review reports to Finance Minister Arun Jaitley. After much debate and protest by employees on some of recommendations made by the 7th Pay Commission on Alliances, the government had formed a committee to review the same. A day after PM Modi accused Akhilesh Yadav government of discriminating in power supply on religious grounds, the UPCM has hit back. Hitting back at Prime Minister Narendra Modi for saying that Uttar Pradesh faced acute power shortage. Chief Minister Akhilesh Yadav said his government provides 24-hour electricity to Varanasi. He also dared PM Modi to take a vow in the name of Ganga and speak the truth. The Supreme Court reserved its order on the Sabari Mala case on women's right to enter the temple and referred the matter to a larger constitutional bench. The Supreme Court said that it needed to decide whether certain religious practices can be protected under the constitution. The 300 km long Srinagar Jammu National Highway, the only road connecting the Kashmir Valley with the rest of the world, has been shut down due to massive landslides triggered by rain. The landslides were triggered at three different locations on the highway due to rainfall. The areas affected have been identified as Digdol, Penthal, Batri Chashma and other places between Ramban and Ramsu. While Chennai was consumed in the political tussle between E. Palanaswamy and O. Panir Selvam, the city witnessed two heart-wrenching incidents of sexual assault and brutal murder of two minor children.